Konnichiwa minasan! Welcome back to my channel. Before I begin, I do have to apologize for two things. One, super sorry I sound like a croaky frog. I had a sore throat and then I drank and then I got sick and then now I just have this like perpetual croaky voice thing going on. So I'm really sorry about that. The second thing I need to apologize for is not uploading in quite a while. I had a lot of friends and family from New Jersey over and I also prioritized different projects that make me money over YouTube because everything gets demonetized immediately. So that's what I was off doing. Sorry about that. Anyway, today's video is about Twitter. About a month ago, I asked you guys on Twitter why you think what your best guess is as to why I am not verified on Twitter. So if you followed me for some time now, you know my long and arduous journey in attempting to get verified on Twitter. I've tried every freaking method. Of course I've applied. I've had people apply on my behalf. Anyway, um, I don't know. There's kind of for me no rhyme or reason as to why me and actually Subtic shouldn't be verified. So I was at my wit's end, so I asked you guys and I was going to put it in a video. But I got busy and I had to kind of push my channel aside a little bit. And then last week's thing happened where Twitter had to suspend their verification program because they verified Jason Kessler, who is the white supremacist rally organization leader guy. Uh, yeah, really horrible human being that shouldn't even really be on Twitter anyway. But the whole point is they have to reassess a, what it means to be verified, and also B, their verification process. So my video kind of now doesn't make any sense because I wanted to point out how bizarre it is the criteria to get verified, and I don't really understand it. But now that this, like, crazy psycho white supremacist asshole guy got verified, there's obviously no rhyme or reason whatsoever, period. Like, there, now there's proof that there's no rhyme or reason for it. So, and especially the response being that they are now suspending it and reassessing whatever that process. I guess the reassessing part is something that I just kind of made up. Okay, I wasn't wrong. They said, we recognize that we have created this confusion and need to resolve it. We have paused all general verifications while we work and will report back soon. So, yeah, the fact that they responded in that manner tells me that they're aware that there's just, there's, there's no process. Like, who, wh how, why, who gets verified for what reason, how, anyway, when. But a lot of you guys participated and I really want to make the video, so I'm going to read them all now and it doesn't matter if it makes sense. So yeah, my original tweet was, what's your best guess as to why I'm not verified? Please tell me your theories so I can put them in a video and cry. First is Trace, because you don't have a work email and your email addresses and haven't submitted yourself for ver 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 verification. Okay, Trace, yes, I have. I think I actually answered this tweet, but yes, I tried every single method in three different jobs, it didn't happen. Somebody doesn't like me over there. Uh, Jessica Negri said, you should have fake nerd boy as a guest on this segment. Yes, Ryan, I know, we have the same troubles, as does Lindsay DeFranco. What did we do wrong? Um, and then of course, Ryan at fake nerd boy <laughs> replied, I got denied every month for a year, so I gave up. Ah, uh, three years now. Every month, well, actually, it was more like every month for two years because I was really adamant about it. And then I stopped trying a little bit this year. So, yeah, whatever. It doesn't matter. It still hurts. Gizzy said, do less work. Maybe it's reverse psychology. I don't think so. Or maybe that means I should be more quiet on Twitter. Like, I should stop saying such weird things. Book at the master at... TYS0N84 said, they don't verify middle-aged Asians or chicken emoji boys. Uh, pretty sure Lucy Lou is verified on Twitter. Not saying that I'm on the same scope or level or world as Lucy Lou, but she is a middle-aged Asian woman. As for Subtic, he should definitely be verified. At Ryan Faroki, some kind of unknown super panic frenzy conspiracy vendetta. So I've seen this before where people joke around and tell me that it's probably something that we did on SPF. I don't know what it could have been. I mean, I've done some really bad, unsavory, weird shit on WTF Japan, but it's not like Twitter doesn't verify hentai things, you know? Hentai things. Like, hentai companies or J-List is verified, you know what I mean? So, I don't know, I feel like that can't be it. 
what, like, what could a super panic frenzy conspiracy vendetta be, you know? At the Dino Crew said, they hating on anime. Okay, so they're not because Crunchyroll is verified and literally everyone I know at Crunchyroll is verified. Everyone, all of my coworkers are verified. And Joey, the anime man, said not enough shit posting. And this is bullshit because I think he tweeted this at me before he got verified. He's verified now, I'm not. He shit posts more than me, maybe he has a point. Sean at Ritz Plays said, Twitter's confused by your age and cannot verify. You can blame Suppy for that one. Is that a thing? Is it kind of like they look me up and they're like, oh, she's supposed to be 29, but everybody says she's 43 or 44 or 45 or all of those hurtful numbers. And then Twitter gets confused and they think I'm not a real person and they don't verify me. At Big Mac Baby said, that's what happens when you're in videos with Steven Subtick, AKA the verified killer, AKA Twitter's unwanted love child. I don't know why Steve is involved. I mean, other than the fact that we're both unverified and it's kind of bizarre. I don't know if like he's the one to blame though. Again, along the same lines of like the super panic frenzy thing, but yeah. Subtick, the verified killer. Uh, Taylor at Ivulpix said, because one of the last videos on SPF is of that fapping game you and Subtick played together. Okay, all right, again, I don't think that we did something so unsavory. That fapping game was like 8-bit as well. I don't think it counts in, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. It's bad. We played a masturbating game together. Um, okay, at my politics TM, they can't verify a whole snack. At the captain saw said, quote, hentai in the sheets. Hentai scares the old sexually repressed man who runs Twitter verification. Probably not again for the reasons I said before about how hentai companies are verified and I don't, I really don't think that, do you think that's it? Also, when I was working at Crunchyroll, I changed that and it didn't say hentai in the sheets thing. It just said like, I was a translator and like, I love anime and stuff like that. So, I don't know. Uh, at PK Lucas said, you hang out with Steven Subtick too much. This is a very popular opinion. Next, at the moderator, uh, cause they've never seen a China doll in real life. I, they're probably not racist. At Sarah Jetlag, I'm sure saying incest is wincest hasn't helped your case. Probably not, actually. Maybe it really is bad. Maybe I do really say bad things. I mean, they're all jokes. At Azimel, because Twitter vetted you by interviewing the people closest to you, and when they got to Subtick, well... Why is he involved? At Comer 2K, Senpai didn't notice. Very cute. At Red Jello, you don't meet the height requirement. No! At Bins in the Air, said, Twitter has an agenda against you, specifically you. Probably, at this point, yeah. At Mr. Tom Finney, said, Nikki Perez moonlights as head of verification at twitter.com and she is pissed! That is the best answer ever. I am down with this answer. I hope that's actually what's happening. Nikki Perez is pissed. <laughs> so this is in reference to a boys only club episode where we talk shit about Nikki Perez who probably isn't a real person. It is just the person who emails influencers about sponsorships and stuff, but it's pretty much spam. And yeah, that's, so we talked shit about it on Boys Only Club, and something went hard, he went crazy about it, so that's, yeah, she's pissed and she won't verify us. That is not a bad theory. At the Blue Leader Zero, because you know Steven, at Colinoscopy, something something, Steven subbed against Super Panic Frenzy. I, I don't think so. At Sugar Pine 7, where the V is a 7, Jake. Uh, Steven Subject is bringing you down. At Sad X Suck. Uh, they hate thick Asian girls, IDK. I'm not, what, what is thick? At JT Home Slice, too lewd. No, because they literally allow porn. Like, they, they allow you to show people, like, having sex on it. Next, at Shingo said, they think your name is potentially a portmanteau of fictional characters that you adore rather than your name actual. 
You're a potentially portmanteau to a fictional character that you don't. So it almost seems like my Twitter account is a fan account of, like, let's say Dana Scully and another fictional character named Reyna that I like smash together. Interesting. That's probably actually it. Because I guess it does seem like a really bizarre name anyway. But like, wouldn't you do some more digging? Like, Oh, this machine thinks this name is fake. I I mean, it's not like Scully isn't a real name somewhere out there. Like, it is a real name. It's like an Irish last name. How is it? I don't... Mm. At Crawl BD, I don't know how, but I assume Stephen Subtick stats something to do with it. I don't think Stephen Subtick stats something to do with it. At T underscore B underscore G underscore, because you work with Stephen Subtick. I don't really think so, but apparently a lot of you guys do. At Broccoliam underscore, the Twitter mans can't handle a real life China doll. Two of those jokes, that's so funny. Um, at DalianX, maybe because you keep lying about your age. Just kidding, I have no idea. Ah! At Ali Lugard, Ali Lugard, Ali, Ali Lugard, at Ali Lugard said, probably that thing you do with your tongue when you find something schmexy. <laughs> that? At Gutan Clan, they are taller than you and can't see you. As a fellow short person, I know it sucks. Another short? Next, at Ace Over Zero, too old. At Merle fucking Kelly, I work with Twitter. We'll verify. Send nudes. At Harpo Ragnarok, thinks, because you're a whole snack. Twitter doesn't like those. That flaming cushion said they can't figure out your age to many conflicting reports of being in your mid 40s. <sighs> so in conclusion, most of you think I'm not verified on Twitter because of my association with Steven Subtick. And then a whole bunch of you also think that it's due to conflicting reports of my age. And then a whole nother bunch of you think that it's because Twitter doesn't verify whole snacks. So although this was just silly and all for fun, I really actually do think what at Shingo said, Joey, about how my name kind of sounds like a portmanteau of a bunch of characters that I adore. That might be why Twitter doesn't realize that I'm a real person and I'm just kind of like a fan account. That might actually be it. That sounds the most likely. I otherwise really have no idea. Uh, let me know your theories in the comment section below. And thank you to everybody for participating. I had such a fun time and thank you guys for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Please also check out this week's Boys Only Club episode. It is with Steve Zaragoza. I will leave links in the description below. Thank you again so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Sanja Matane. Hi, Steve. Hi, Rina. <laughs> Hi. 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 So we were already talking about this, but you're verified on Twitter. Yeah, man. How did you get verified on Twitter? Um, I, so... I don't I don't know the specifics <laughs> but but I do know that between one day and the next <laughs> I became verified. Yeah. And I think it had something to do with my Comic Con HQ show. Mm -hmm. That's the time? That's when it happened? Yeah. Okay. So I think it was like and I wanna I'm I'm gonna name drop here. Yeah. I mean this might this might be the only reason why it happened. Uh oh. But Kevin Pereira, like sent me kind of like a curious text mm. that that seemed to allude to his connection his connection to making it his fran see i always hear that it's about connections but yeah. steven Suptic, why are you not verified on twitter it's tough to say you have no idea racial slurs from 2013 you deleted those though yeah you know what's weird i used an app to delete all of my tweets like bad uh, tweets? And, All tweets? But people are still able to find them. And I don't really have any bad tweets. I just wanted to have my, my Twitter not show like 15,000 tweets. Yeah. Use the app to delete them. All the tweets still show. That's stupid. I think you mentioned it at a certain point why I'm not verified, and it's because I have like a lot of bots that are following me. Well, you told me you have a lot of bots, and I, I do. told There's you a... that that might be why you're not. Yeah. Is that still the case? I feel like to be verified, you have to have a connection with Twitter. You do, but I... 
Well, you you should have a connection by now. I have no Rooster connections with anybody. But can't Rooster Teeth get you verified? Rooster Teeth, I think, had a slew of people that got verified, and then uh, it, it stopped. stopped for them. Well, it doesn't matter anymore, I guess. Nobody's getting verified. Yeah, we never. But that's so. But it's just a temporary, uh, temporary lock, right? They're they're gonna hopefully do better. No matter you're verified or not, you still got it, girl.